Thank you, President and colleagues. I rise to present SB 1053, which will finally eliminate those thick plastic film bags that we see at grocery stores to carry home our groceries. It was a decade ago when this very body passed SB 270 and voters voted to approve making California the first state to phase out single use plastic bags. But unfortunately, a loophole in the definition of reusable and recyclable opened the door to thicker plastic bags, which are impossible to recycle in any facility in California. It is clear from the data that we have fallen short. We have seen a 47% increase in annual plastic bag waste into our landfills since the original law was passed in 2014 compared to 2022. This is unacceptable and why SB 1053 is important to address this plastic waste throughout the state. Glo globally, we use an estimated 5 trillion plastic bags a year, with the average American using one plastic bag a day. A plastic bag has an average lifespan of just 12 minutes, and then it is discarded, often clogging sewage drains, contaminating our drinking water, and degenerating into tiny microplastics that fester in our oceans and landfills. And if we only account for coastal regions alone, some 18 billion pounds of plastic waste flows into our oceans from these regions. This is the equivalent of five grocery bags sitting on every foot of coastline around the world. We deserve better and we must demand better. This is now a bipartisan effort and international paper has recently come on in support. Our coalition of support ranges from strong environmental groups to the Grocery Association and other businesses who want to do better for our environment. I respectfully urge your I vote. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Blakespear. I see microphones up from Senator Lamone and Senator DeRazzo. We'll begin first with Senator Lamone. Thank you. Thank you, members. I rise as a co-author in support of SB 1053. SB 54 was intended to only apply to single-use packaging. The thick plastic, plastic grocery bags available at stores are not included in SB 54. For these thick plastic bags to be used in the state, they must be certified by multiple uses and be recycled in California. While these bags are legally considered reusable, we know consumers rarely return them to the store to use them again, and we know they are not recycled. Manufacturers have asked to amend SB 1053 to add these thick plastic bags to SB 54 instead of banning them outright. Members, when SB 270 passed, the legislature voted to ban single-use plastic bags at grocery stores. Voters then upheld this policy at the ballot box. Californians were clear in asking stores to sell reusable, recyclable bags. After 10 years, these bags have failed on both accounts. Adding these bags to SB 54 now would draw out the use of these unwanted bags longer undermining the will of the voters. These bags are a contaminant in the recycling stream, precisely the type of material we want out of the system to improve the recycling potential of truly recyclable material. We have had these thicker bags for a decade and they have not been collected and recycled successfully. We don't need to wait another 10 years. I respectfully ask for an I vote. Thank you, Senator Lamone. Senator Durazo, the floor is yours. Thank you. Uh, a question to the author? Will the author take a question? The author will. Okay, Senator DeRazzo, please proceed. Thank you. Um, I just want to say be before my question that I totally agree with what you're in doing in this bill. There's no disagreement there. Um, what was brought to my attention by the grocery workers is about the information on the reusable bag sales um, and that we would be able to aggregate the uh, information um, per retailer and also remove local preemption to allow jurisdictions to require reporting a reusable bag uh, sale. So if you could respond to that concern. Thank you. Senator Blakespear, you may respond. Yes, thank you. So the question of uh, where is the 10 cents going, which is essentially the question uh, being posed to me by my colleague, um, I see that as a completely unrelated issue to banning plastic bags. So at the grocery store, when you buy your groceries, if you bring your reusable bag, you can take them home in that, or you could buy a 10 cent 
paper bag and take them home. This is, Trader Joe's is already doing this. The question of eliminating plastic as an option is unrelated to the issue of what is happening with that 10 cents. I'll also note that that was a standalone bill last year that was vetoed by the governor. So inserting that into this bill, which is essentially about plastic reduction, is a poison pill that we were unwilling to accept. So um, hopefully that answers the question. It, it seems to have. Senator DeRozzo's mic is down. I see Senator Dolly uh, to be heard next. Thank you, Senator Mr. Dolly. Speaker. Uh, Speaker, Mr. Dolly, President. The other excuse house. me, Mr. President. I just want to maybe add a little light to this. I saw this bill in EQ, and I was somebody who was, um, I, I don't like plastic bags blowing around. I, I, I care about the environment. And quite frankly, paper bags are good for my district because we grow trees and the paper's great with me. But what really, I think, frustrates me about the battle over plastic bags is the money part of it. I was happened to be in the assembly when we had the debate over plastic bags. And the grocers fought the plastic bag ban until they got to make a lot of money. They, they buy the bags for a couple cents and they were able to sell them as high as 25 cents. And that money went in their pocket. And then my friends on the environmental side supported that. It didn't do anything for the environment, and the money actually went to the store so they could profit. So for me, I was very frustrated because I don't want to see the bags blown around. And I'm also frustrated with my friends on the environment because they just want to drive the cost up. That's what they do in housing. That's what they do in all kinds of things, is just drive the cost up so we can't afford it. And that's one way of stopping it. So this bill, let's talk about this bill for a moment. This bill still allows the grocer to make money off of the paper bag at your expense. There's no money going to the environment here. And so for me, that's the problem. It's like, what are you doing? We're just forcing people with money to make the decision instead of doing the right thing for the environment. For that reason, I'm going to oppose the bill. All right, members, any further discussion or debate from members? I don't see any microphones up. Senator Blakespear, you may close. Yes, thank you. So 10 years ago, 10 cents might have resulted in a profit for grocers, but many grocers say that bags are costing more than 10 cents and they're actually losing money on this. The other thing is that everything in that grocery store is sold for a profit. So the idea that they would sell a bag along with selling every other item in the grocery store, to me, it doesn't seem as if that's a reason to oppose this. So our hope is that more people bring their reusable bags. And part of the original, um, the original compromise was that the money was being used for education. So the money was, was collected from the bags and part of it was being used for training and education. And then we had COVID hit and we returned to using single-use plastics in much greater numbers. So there are still signs around these grocery stores, if you look, that say, bring your reusable bag. There are fewer of them, of course, because it's been many years. But the bottom line is that the grocery stores are over deciding between plastic and paper. They are in favor of this bill because it simplifies their life. They're only stocking one type of bag. So the question of where is that 10 cents going, that is a separate question which I think could be a separate bill again if somebody wanted to run that bill. Um, and the governor of course vetoed it, but maybe there would be a different way to analyze it. But this bill is about plastic reduction. This bill is, there, are, there is a good alternative for people, which is paper. This bill is not about the way grocery stores run their business. So I urge my colleagues to vote yes on this because we are, drowning in the scourge of plastic. And we do not need to be collecting so many plastic bags that are used only one time for 12 minutes before they end up in our landfills, in our ocean, and microplastics in our bodies, and in the mountains, and everywhere else. So with that, I respectfully ask for your I vote. All debate having ceased. Secretary, please call the roll. Alan. Alvarado Gill. Aye. 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 Archuleta. Aye. 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 Ashby. Aye. Aye. Atkins. Aye. 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 Becker. Aye, Blakespear. Aye, Bradford. Caballero. Cortezzi. Daly. No. Dodd. Aye, Terrazzo. Eggman. Aye, Glazer. Aye. Aye, Gonzalez. Aye, Grove. Potato. Aye, Jones. No, Laird. Aye, Limon. Aye, McGuire. Minjavar. 
I, Min. I, Newman. I, Win. Milo. No. Achobo. No. Padilla. I, Portentino. I, Roth. I, Rubio. Sayarto. No. Skinner. I, Small Cuevas. I, Stern. I, Umberg. I, Wahab. I, Wiener. I, Wilk. I. Please call the absent members. Allen. Bradford. Caballero. I. Cortezio. Terrazzo. Grove. No. McGuire. Wynn. No. Rubio. I. All right, we're going to call the absent, absent members one last time, members. Please, please stay engaged. <clears throat> Secretary, please call the absent members. Allen, Bradford, aye. Cortezzi, aye. Terrazzo, McGuire. All right, on a vote of 30 to 7, the measure passes.